Hi all. Recently, there has been a lot of talk in the town among the data science community relating to AutoGPT. Well, AutoGPT is an autonomous AI agent, and I'm sure the very first thought that comes to your mind when you think of AutoGPT or an AI agent is Tony Stark's Jarvis. Well, the current AutoGPT or autonomous AI agent is not as powerful as we see in the Jarvis in the movie. However, these autonomous agents are capable of solving pretty much most of the day-to-day -day tasks that require human intervention. Like for example, you just specify the end objective to these models and it will create a set of prompts and the set of tasks for itself and solve it step by step all by itself. Now, how is it different from the other techniques such as the chat GPT? While in chat GPT, we have to specify a prompt and based on that prompt, the chat GPT gives us a certain response. In order to generate the next set of response or in order to improvise upon the response, we have to provide another prompt. However, in an AI agent like AutoGPT, these prompts are internally passed within the agent itself. We do not have to explicitly provide these prompts. It's as if the AI can prompt itself, constantly evolving and adapting to achieve their objective in the best way possible. Okay, while I have set the pretext for this video, in this particular video, we are going to develop a very basic version of an AI agent wherein we will have our AI agent create a YouTube title and based on that YouTube title, provide us with a description for the video. Okay, so we will see how this is going to work using a very simple example. So here we are going to use Langchain and, and deploy our application on Streamlit using Streamlit, right? Streamlit provides an interface for easy to navigate. Okay, we will see how that is working. So first of all, we import some of the libraries. We are importing OS. We are importing OpenAI. We are currently not using Hugging Face Hub yet, but you can very well use models from Hugging Face Hub. We shall use the prompt template. And under chains, we shall call the LLM chain, simple sequence chain and sequential chain. So simple sequential chain and sequential chain are the chains that will enable us to bind together multiple prompts or we can say a kind of build an AI agent that works within itself. We'll see how that goes. Okay. So first of all, we are calling st.title. The title I have given is YouTube title generator app. And prompt is st.extinput. Now, st is this streamlet. Let me show you how this works. I will just comment this out. Let me run this application. So, in order to run this, we have to run streamlet, streamlet run, and our app name. App name is agent app.py. We are running this. Let me see what happens. Yes. So it opens up an application here. It's still running. It takes some time to load. Okay. It says YouTube title generator app. Write your keyword here. This because we have commented all the extra other information, it is getting printed as comments here. Okay. But you see that our streamlet is rendering an application that we are deploying. Now let us add more information. Okay, so I am setting my API key os.envelon open AI API key. We have to provide our AI key. Then I am creating an LLM object here. Okay, just as we have done in all other Langchain tutorials. Next, I am creating a prompt template. So in my prompt template, my input variable is keyword and my template is write a YouTube video title about keyword. So I will just specify a particular keyword or a set of keywords and using which it will generate a title. Okay. Next, we have a description template. So first we will generate a title and then we will generate a description. Under the description, we have the input variable title and we are specifying the template as based on the title of the YouTube video, generate a YouTube description in at most 150 words. So these things would be familiar to you from our Langchain tutorials. We already worked with these basic concepts. Okay. Now we are creating chain. We are creating a title chain. Using LLM chain, we are binding our LLM object and the prompt template, which is the title. We are specifying the output key for this title. 
when you are using a single chain right when you are using a single chain independently you do not need to specify output key however when we are combining multiple chains together it is a good practice to specify an output key in order to help us uh, know which output we want to use and how we want to use it then similarly for the description chain we are creating an llm chain and passing our llm object and a prompt output key is description now we talked about two sequential chains one is a simple sequential chain other is a sequential chain so there is a very basic difference between these two types of chains simple sequential chain is the simplest form of chain where each step has a singular input or output so in each step you can specify one input and the output will also be a single output however in sequential chain we can specify the number uh, like many inputs as well as many outputs at each stage okay like for example we wanted two outputs both title as well as description so therefore we used a sequential chain and how this is going to work is under chains we are going to specify our chains in order remember ordering is important first we are specifying our title chain then we are specifying our description chain and our input variable is the input to this chain which would be the input to our title chain that is the keyword and the output variable is we are specifying the output from each of these chains the title chain the output key was title the description chain the output key was description we want to use both these as output variables and we are specifying it here the verbose is set to true now when if we have specified any prompt then i want my response to be generated and the sequential chain works as sequential chain and within this you pass a keyword argument okay so keyword is our key here and prompt is our keyword that we are passing based on the title next i will write both the title and the description to the output let me execute and show you how this works so our app is still loading now it is asked um, it looks like it is still loading here let me check from the terminal what is happening okay it is still running since we are using api keys sometimes it takes some time to load and also there are certain restrictions because we are using a free version of the api key so just bear with me for some time looks like we made an error in the naming of the api key let me go back and recheck it so we changed the name of our open ai api key variable name and passed it to the llm object like for example here we have set the variable name as open ai ai key and passed it in the object here let us see it is still loading so our model is ready to be worked here now it is asking for any keyword let me pass the keyword deep learning just give it some time let us check the logs so it is asking for did not find the parameter entering new sequential chain finish chain okay see our title is here dive into deep learning and introduction to modern ai types and this is the description this youtube video contains in we introduces viewers to modern techniques of artificial intelligence it types into so we are able to generate an ai agent here that takes in a particular input does internal computations and give us the desired output okay well this is a very basic version the actual ai agent has lot more internally going on let me show you few more examples for example ai agent so ai agent learns to understand human language it introduces the latest fake through an artificial intelligence in ai agent can not only understand but process human language this intelligent agent uses natural language processing and deep learning algorithms to process questions search the web for solutions and provide answers this feature allows for a more efficient search experience and the ability to gather information quickly and all those information okay so you see now our basic ai agent is ready and hope you understood how we are creating this ai agent we are creating two different llm chains and then combining these two llm chains together using sequential chain from langchain right langchain is a framework that enables all these combinations very easily
and in a very abstract manner we don't have to go into the nitty gritty details of it you can play around and build your own ai agents you can build your own applications and deploy them using streamlit hope you have a smooth learning experience and learn something new if you like the content make sure to give it a thumbs up see you in the next lecture have a nice day bye bye jai hind